means free gladiators. Uh, uh, yeah? <laughs> this is actually true. Oh, actually, Mark, that is kind of true. Like, we're running low on gladiators. Let's go adventuring for a little bit. I'm going to adventure a couple of people. Uh. Are you bandits? Perfect. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Come here. <laughs> you look healthy. Come here for a second. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Um, would Magnus do that? Yeah, Magnus would actually do that. <laughs> to bandits. He'd do that to bandits. He's going to walk around with like like gold coins, like just tied to his shirts. <laughs> <laughs> See him miles away. Marty, what's going on? I am... I moved all of your tokens to a new map. Yeah, the campaign files after a while get really big. Oh, that uh, is a sweet, sweet map. That is a really cool map, sir. Mine is still loading. Yeah. <laughs> uh, like, like half the gladiators' their background is banded anyway. <laughs> it pretty much is. Yeah. Yeah. It is loading. Give it a moment. So there's the caravan. Why is it reloading? Oh, you moved us. Okay. All right. <laughs> wages, wages. Let, let's bet who dies next. Oh, huh. Marty, you want to put us in the in the right <clears throat> caravan? Yeah, go ahead and you can move things around. I am still trying to load the map. It is taking its sweet ass time. Wait, you were with this guy. You were in here. You were eating. You were sitting on your chair, crying. Apparently changing maps was not a good idea. <laughs> Alright. Um, I was laughing at me crying. Uh, where is Radimer? Oh, there he is. Sorry. Thanks for the host, Lemmy. Why are there bulls running on stream? Huh? What? Oh, I I put little animations for for all the different actions that happened. Somebody just hosted. <laughs> so the, okay. <laughs> there, there, was was just, a, there was a bunch I, of people. I, I got in... back and there's like the running <laughs> of the bulls or some shit. I don't know quite what it was. <laughs> I'm like, it, it was a, it was a on? bunch of like like dancing <laughs> dancing dragons, man. It's all dragon dragon themed. Okay, um, I I just it was little and it was shrunk. I saw this thing and people running around. I'm like, what are we doing? <laughs> oh, this is shrunken dragon. Oh, weird. Yeah, all the follow subs, um, uh, hosts, um, all have a different little image now, and a little sound. Uh, and we're just waiting for Map Tool. Map Tool is being really slow. Uh, well, are we loading a map? Yep. The Oubliette. Um, we're trying to load Vivernus and Oubliette, but it's it's going extremely extremely uh, slow. They, they're both loaded for me. Yeah, I've got. Okay. So... Let me kill one of my, one of my map tools and see if I can reload it. Yeah. We're having an issue. Technical difficulties. Oh yeah, it's now loading. Quite wow. rapidly. And Vivernus. Uh, Vivernus is... looks cool. <laughs> I know the stream cannot see it yet, but it looks cool. Trust me. <laughs> Connect to server. Oh. Connect to server with the right 
password pco2 blah 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 so are you are you back at your uh, seat there marty mm -hmm. okay your your camera's still there we go There's an alien in the back of Mark's cam. Yes, he's about to be body snatched back there. Mm -hmm. All right, there is Vivernus. Um, there are wyverns that can be seen flying around the city. The city looks like a gigantic citadel um, that is that is at, at the side of a very large hill with some other smaller citadels surrounding it. There are <clears throat> weird blue lights that are emanating from some spires in, in Vivernus. Um, those blue lights also seem to be reflected in the glowing eyes of the, of the wyverns, at least half a dozen of them that can be seen flying around, um, the city itself. You are stopped, uh, several times along the road that leads up towards Vivernus, or towards the main, uh, the main citadel or city. Um... Radimer does explain that you are gladiators, that he has a caravan of gladiators, and that he is indeed traveling the road of sorrow. Um, he is able to present Zamacles' papers, describing each of the gladiators that are in his caravan. Let's see if he's able to bluff his way past human guards and other officials of the realm. It's not really lying, it's just they're not his. Plus 10. These are gladiators. Yep. That part was true. And then he's got an assist from the, uh, from the hin. <coughs> oh, no. oh no. That is not the greatest role in the world. Okay. Um, whatever he has said to these officials, he now has an armed escort leading him into the citadel. And, uh, not only him, but the entire caravan is going into the citadel. The citadel has gates that are large enough that le that you could lead entire armies into as opposed to, uh, uh, um, gates that dwarf the size of your tiny caravan <coughs> and your, and your several carts in your caravan of lies. Sam is not worried, because, because what's the worst they're going to do to him? Make him a gladiator and fight to the death? <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> they, to, to much to, to uh, Radimer's chagrin, they do uh, eventually get to a spot where you're, like, it's an inner courtyard. You are underground or in, or in, the, um, in the citadel itself. Um... Massive caverns beneath the beneath the citadel. Some of them are part uh, a part excavated. Others look like they are constructed with a um, with an impending sense of doom. A large portcullis, uh, portcullis, and uh, and several doors are closing behind you. Uh, the dying light of that day is is. Um, is shuttered out from the waiting place that you're within. Uh, there are some armed guards. These guards do have, uh, they do look like Imperial soldiers, as well as um, some dark dwarves in heavy armor. They're carrying pole arms and, and watching you from the shadows. This place did have imperial banners, but it also had uh, another set of, of banners along uh, 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 wherever the imperial banners were shown. Do what any of you have pole arms? Uh, these guys have um, halberds. Halberds. All right. Halberds. Do we have knowledge? Mm -hmm. I think was a question. Do you have knowledge local Vivern or knowledge uh, nobility? Is the question about something on the plains or religion? <coughs> no. Then no. Uh, okay. You do see that uh, there are some um, kobold porters 
Like, there seem to be some, like, a whole gaggle of kobold slaves that are all carrying things in. They're kind of, like, walking through the courtyard that you're in. Like, it's not just you that are in this courtyard. Um, some of the some of the Durgar guards uh, search some of the big pots that they were that they were carrying uh, the carrying on their heads or on their <coughs> backs, and allow them through. Uh, Snowbeard, you're riding up in the in the death cart. Uh, you okay. hear you, you hear Undwin say, "Is everything all right, Master?" Mm. They seem to have issues with our paperwork. Damn it, Jorm, you betrays. Is that what you did? <laughs> I, I, I did nothing, says, says Jorm. It, it is all legitimate. Still, <clears throat> these were all Zamacles' papers, says Jorm. My understanding is that the people of Vivernus seek to control dragons even before the time of the Imperium. It is how they survive living so close to a realm of, of dragonborn. Kobolds are not, well, they've got the short end of the stick in both duchies, I suppose, says, says Joram. <coughs> mm, disgusting creatures, says. <laughs> says yeah, disgusting. Yeah. They're like little dragons. This <laughs> is what Undwin says. Yeah, and if you're nice to them, you can pet them. And then if you pet them and you make them happy, you can. They might just lick you like this. And he grabs Undwin over the head and just starts licking his face. <laughs> 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 That's tobacco juice for you. <laughs> Enough, says Radimer. <laughs> Sorry, Master. <laughs> there seems to be a creature it approaches, says Radimer. You do notice that there are a gaggle of uh, of um, armed kobolds? Uh, okay. <laughs> Things I respect don't normally come in gaggles. <laughs> oh, no, the gaggle is coming. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're, 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 they they seem to like very cautiously approach. They've got little spears and little shields. Uh, it they do not look very impressive. Um, it's, like, it's like they gave girls weapons. <laughs> but you but you hear them you hear them in in their in their hiss, hissing sibilant girls tongue beat the crap out of us, bark, trust me. barking yeah. out <laughs> orders and uh, those kobolds that that were carrying stuff and kind of disappeared into a side passage all come scrambling back and they're being ordered by the kobolds. The kobolds apparently had nothing to do with um, um, with you. They, they sort of order them by and they're looking up at you. They seem as almost as frightened as you as you are bemused by them. Um, Take gaggle is the good word then. <laughs> yeah. This, however, distraction, another creature approached from the other side of the cart. He is a silhouette of madness. So, silhouette is a word of something I am intimidated by. <laughs> There's this little scrawny guy about the size of Sam with this two-handed axe that he's sort of dragging behind him into the courtyard, and he stops and tilts his head off to the side as he looks towards you. You can hear, you can hear him giggling. <laughs> Are we on conversation? Uh, yeah, oh, well, I, I just put you on conversation. You've you've circled the wagons. You're in a courtyard, and I'm describing I'm describing the people that are approaching. Okay, the okay. I was looking for a I was looking for a, <laughs> a dude. Okay, cool. Has he fallen out of Silent Hill and can't get up? Is this... <laughs> All right. So here's the here's the little here's the little guy that's laughing at you. Huh? Huh. Okay. What the fuck? Can we see him? Yeah, you can see him. Yeah, he's just, he's in the shadows, so you, you, you can't see, like, his full face and everything. You can hear him muttering. Do any of you speak Dwarven? Uh, it's no beard. <laughs> okay, he's going. Murder, dop, dop, murder. Murder, dop, dop, murder. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Wonder how many of these, these things I can kill. I can probably kill them all. 
um, low light vision, Marty. Yeah, you're looking. You're looking out of the uh, out of the window. You can you can see this guy. He's just standing there. This is a normal dude, right? Well, it is far from dude. normal. Uh, it is uh, four feet tall, but the size of Sam. As I said, Sam is a small creature. He's got a really big axe in his hands that he's just dragging around. Right, but he's not like glowing red or anything weird shit like that. He's just a freaking weirdo. He is a weirdo. Speaking of glowing red, there is somebody that is coming behind him. God uh, damn it! <laughs> this is a little wet. Needs to be lit by something. This is a this is a dark dwarf that has um, three gems that are glowing red, kind of uh, uh, radiating around his head. Uh, he's in he's in fine clothing. Um, his eyes are glittering in the strange light of the courtyard, <clears throat> and he approaches. He just he goes. Murderous Dob doesn't really flinch, but he does put a hand on Murderous Dob. He says something quietly to uh, Murderous Dob um, um, that seems to calm him a little bit. Ah. Isn't that the damnedest thing you've ever seen? <laughs> Who is the caravan master here? I uh, Sam will point over <laughs> to the death cart. <laughs> I am Radimer Fink. I am owner of this caravan as well as these gladiators and slaves. I see. Apparently there are some issues with your paperwork. Mm, yes. There is much chaos along the road of sorrow. Yes. Well, there is not much chaos here in the Duchy of Vyvern. Fortunate for us. Perhaps. Don't worry. We'll help you sort out your paperwork issues. You were right, Sazug. They do like their paper. It appears it's really your strong. paperwork, however, is for some other slave owner, this Zamacles Branderson. Yes, I acquired much from him along the road of sorrow. And where is this Zamacles? Is he with this caravan? No. Interesting. Harlan's like, well, fucked, well, fucked, well, fucked, well, fucked. <laughs> My name is Zedifax Khan. It says here you've got a lot of gladiators. Yes. I oversee certain aspects of the games here in Vivernus. A very prestigious sort of thing. When I heard that there was a caravan of gladiators coming up the road, a caravan of gladiators that came by route of the Warrens. I could not help myself. I wanted to see them. And given these indiscrepancies, well, perhaps if we can inspect your goods, that may help. Mm, Radimer waves his hand for all of you to come over. <laughs> Line up for inspection. <clears throat> he looks really, really pissed and annoyed. Look, he does. Yep. <laughs> what about the guys in the back cage? Just the champions, or also the uh, the other guys? Champions! Well, I see that you allow your gladiators to speak out of turn, Mr. Fink. Mm, they are special. Victories go to their heads. They have just come from the city of pagodas. They have just defeated one of the spawn of Chella the Azure. Chella the Azure? Are they still doing those matches in the city of pagodas? Well, we have dragons of our own sort here. Yeah. Oh, fuck. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Let's have a look at you. You must be uh, Snowbeard. Yeah, Snowbeard is very careful not to even make eye contact with this guy. Yep. Eyes down and uh huh. Hin Samuel <clears throat> Stonefist from Stygia. That's. He doesn't like yep. do the same thing of Snowbeard of like trying to look away, that kind of crap. But you know. Edward Ravenhurst of Grand Bastion. I uh, at your service, I suppose. But you would have to ask him, really. He grins at that. You must be Ugg. Uh, yeah. Very interesting tattoo you have there, Ugg. Oh, Chala tattoo. Yes. Not too many gladiators get such things branded upon them from the dragon folk. Very interesting. He glances back towards Radimer. Do you... Where's your paperwork? Ah, I see. Additions to the bottom here. <laughs> I'm assuming you're not one of the names that have been crossed out. Yeah, good, good fucking guess. <laughs> <laughs> he just grins at this. <laughs> <laughs> and which human are you? He says, like it's a dirty word. Uh, Roger, Red Goal. Uh, right there. Thank you. Red Goal. <clears throat> He's taking note. Ah! No, I do not see part of your name crossed out. He smiles. Arlen smiles at that. It's funny. <laughs> Sam, Sam actually giggles at that a little bit. Like, that, that's funny right there. That's, that's, that's a good joke. Does he still participate in the games? Yes, he was part of of the group that defeated Chella. Or the spawn Pulls of Chella. Out, shows his, shows his uh, tattoo. Very interesting indeed. Well. I prefer not to, but... <laughs> ah, I don't get to kill him! No, no, no. Don't mind Murderous Daub over there. I don't need many guards when I have Murderous Daub at my side. Right now, Snowbeard's thinking, Murderous Daub? That's a great name. I wish I had that name. <laughs> <laughs> People would respect me then. <laughs> uh, do you guys have knowledge nature or... Call me Murderous Beard. <laughs> <laughs> murder Beard. I'm Murder Beard. <laughs> Uh, knowledge nature? I do have Let's a number of unruly gladiators that are still forced to ride in a cart. Ah, yes, the other names. Perhaps we should go look over them. You can, you can wait here, is what he says. <laughs> ah, yeah, yeah. Axe to the back of the neck, axe to the head. Uh, I need you in the junk first. You bend over, axe the back of your head. Oh, and you, I just want that smile from your face. And uh, you, uh, uh, you're the same size as me. I have to aim lower. And then, and then you? Yeah, 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 we'll trim off your beard first. <laughs> he, he's got he his hand thrust. Yeah, give me a knowledge nature. Uh, I don't have it. It's an int. <laughs> Uh, I don't sure. have it. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, natural 20. So 20, 20 on the end check. Who 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 rolled that one? Sam. Sam. Sam's like, what the hell is this little thing? All right. Yeah, so I'm, I'm going to... Murder fairy are you? Ah. Oh. Sam just run away. <laughs> Oh. He's he's while he's verbally saying how he'd kill all of you with the axe, he does have his other hand free and it is rubbing himself underneath his trousers. At least he's got trousers. 
you wouldn't happen to play cards, would you? I'd like to to play you in cards. <laughs> cards, 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 paper cards. <laughs> He's a tarot. Like a little evil, like a little evil gnome. Did you call me gnome? Nobody calls me gnome. Well, you're similar to a gnome. But He's got both hands over his axe now. <laughs> okay, and Snowbeard does this. Okay. <laughs> uh, Sam will stand defensively okay. if he gets swung at. What? Who's you're... asking me a question? <laughs> you're a Darrow, right? Yeah? No, I'm murderous. Stop. Stop, murder, murder, stop, 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 murder, murder, stop. Murder. Little thing. Aim low. Murderous Dob, please play nice over there, but not so nice. Just leave them alone. Come over here. Oh, uh, not murder time yet. Maybe you go down into dungeons. Murderous Dob knows how to sneak into dungeons. We can have conversation about cards there. I look forward to it. I think he means to kill you. <laughs> says Arlen. Oh, oh. I think he means to kill me too. <laughs> Good okay. he, 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 he's, hey, he's Sam, weren't, Sam, weren't those humans making fun of a guy named Murderous Dob before we got here? <laughs> <laughs> they, they, they might have, actually. <laughs> what? Who said that? No. No, not time for killing yet. Mm, look at that beast. Ah. Uh, Step to side, cut throat, blood everywhere. Mm, then take blood bath, yes. What an eccentric person. <laughs> <laughs> He's just rambling on about how you kill one of the lefty. <laughs> about what he <laughs> wants. He's, he's, he's like, looked at him funny. That bull looked at me funny. He's pretending. <laughs> Um, ZF accent, Karn and Radimer. I will make sure you overhear him. Very well. It is agreed, then. I do believe that we have the oubliette prepared. I do not know what that is. One of the many dungeons that are stocked full of creatures. We'd certainly like to add elements of surprise to our gladiatorial games here. Many of the early defenses of the Durgar kingdom were places of blood and death. They have been transformed, given that, well, there's no more chance of a re-invasion. I will make sure that the officials here overlook certain things on your paperwork so long as you commit your gladiators in full to the oubliette. Radimer says something quietly to ZFX. Oh. Harlan face bombs. <laughs> yes, I understand. Interesting. Slave born dwarves. Were there to be any other non Durgar dwarf, I commend you. Fine, we will spare your slave born dwarves, given that you promised them to other places. The others, however, must commit. You will have a certain amount of time to prepare. <coughs> I will visit you shortly before your games, along with a cart of supplies. We will do some trading. He's saying directly at the gladiators. Okay. So, is this a, ga a fight against monsters, or will there be other gladiators too? Why do these things have to be mutually exclusive?
Sam is not going to correct him on his grammar because Sam said, is it just against monsters or also with gladiators? Yep. Which implies togetherness. So Sam's going to go, ha. Huh. So both. <laughs> both, indeed. Come along, murderous dob. Uh, they're going to fight in a dungeon. Yes, apparently there will be two matches. I wonder which dungeon we're going to use. Unfortunately, the others are out of commission since the last fight. You remember all of those spells? Yes, many traps need to be reset. Mm -mm. Yeah, you're the one who knows about how to get out of the way of things. <laughs> yeah. You still know how to do that? <laughs> Radimir is looking nervous as... Um, now there is a patrol of guards with muskets coming out, and maybe the dude that came and talked to you isn't the main official. He does approach the captain of the guards, and he points back, and, and you notice that, um, uh, a small coin purse is, is palmed into that, into the guard captain's hand. Hmm. The guard captain does come over. This is a human guard. <laughs> Um, they, they come over, they start looking at, they start looking at your wagons, and, uh, um, Which ones are you, uh, participating in the games? These ones here, and those five in the back of the cart. The dwarves stay where they are, they are very dangerous. And these guards start going about, um, maneuvering you somewhat roughly? Separating you from the caravan? All this right. way. Sam says no need to be pushy, but he's obviously forcing them to push him. Like, <laughs> right, right. Yeah, there's some, there are, there are some of them that, like, like basically at gunpoint are, are making you move off. Uh, Roger takes up, takes up the pushing of Arlen uh, while, the other, while the other guards are being unloaded off the cart. Um, Beric Tarn with the other... Four guards. Uh, Radimer is talking to the guard captain. Apparently, the guard captain's giving him a bit of a, a rough time, um, demanding to see some some sort of manifest, which uh, which he has to go and talk to Joram about. I will see you later. I'll see that your weapons make their way to where you're headed. Is what he's yelling. If you're carrying any weapons, they make you su they make you surrender them before they uh, make sure that we get our nine crossbows. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, a crossbow for everyone, right? <laughs> Says Roger. <laughs> oh, good, yeah. yeah. Good, good thinking, good thinking, buddy. It's too bad it wasn't uh, six guns. Oh, and six guns, he says. <laughs> the, guards, the guards are giving him Yeah, a, that's a it. You pushed look. it too far right there. That's a look. <laughs> Radimer seems to be put on the spot, and... Um, um, you have a bad feeling about these horrible halls full of murder holes that you're trudging down under. Now we don't blame Radimer for this fight. We blame creepy gem face McMurder Dob. <laughs> Zetafax Karn and murder Murderous Dob? <laughs> the people yeah. who greeted you? <laughs> Hi! Hey. Hey, you're a you bunch guys, of liars. Go into the death dungeon. <laughs> you guys think Master Radimer will let me be called like Murder Beard or Blood Beard or something like that? I don't know. Pretty you sure might it be a bodily fluid than beard. Might not be blood though. What are you thinking? Like a snot beard? The uh, piss beard, shit beard. I mean, there's other fluids, but you know. In the beard. I hate you. I hate you all. <laughs> <laughs> I think you might have to kill something uh, if you want to earn the name of Bloodbeard. Hey, hey, I killed already, okay? I'm pretty sure I killed uh, the new kid's dad or something. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you better watch out. Uh, the Dragonborn do have uh, very sharp teeth. Yeah, well, I got these now. And this... Lightning and the thunder. 
what's that? Oh, there's a storm brewing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You seen the rundown recently? It was so fucked. Yes, I have actually. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Is this a movie? Yeah. Uh, perhaps yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it, it's 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 an okay movie. But... It's it's a, it's a fun it's a, just a fun. Movie. I, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed that one. Yep. Perhaps uh, it is a uh, bile beard is the right the uh, the right name of things. You could also call him I shit. I would mouth. call him bile beard. All right. Then your fuck face one. Your fuck face two. <laughs> <laughs> Call no, me Speedy. Number. Rog, Rog is like, I'm Speedy. Nah, I don't like that one. <laughs> yeah, nah. No, doesn't have a, not a good ring to it. <laughs> Snowbeard never getting his way. <laughs> All right, you're you're brought to a very um. It's a spacious cell, but it is a cell nonetheless. You're told to get in and wait. Mm. It's not bad accommodations. Could be a little better. Kinda damp. There's a small drain that kind of in the sloping floor. There are two cots that have um, some really, really um, yellow stained um, like mats that are on top of them. Um, the cots are basically like a, like a door hinge with two chains, kind of to, to the uh, uh, to the side of the wall. There are some old loops of chains, like where you could like chain up manacled folks. Uh, and the drain basically um, is probably also the place where you're supposed to um, urinate and get rid of biomatter. Um, there's a little bit of water leaking in through the back wall, which provides you some drinking water if you care to have it. We'll use the uh, <clears throat> the torture chains as uh, rings for doing some aerobic exercises. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Samuel immediately sets to uh, to doing some uh, exercises. Uh, Edward, did you sit? Edward, you sitting on one of the mats. Um, Roger wheels uh, uh, Arlen into the corner, just so he can face and see the rest of you. Mm. <clears throat> what are we? What are we gonna find here? Says Ugg. I don't know, Ugg. Uh, the this is a place full of a uh, dwarf. Uh, dwarves live underground. At least that's uh, where they are most comfortable. It sounds like some sort of dungeon of death. Hey, can you can you make light like like magic light? Who are you asking? Is that at Arlen? Oh, well, he's asking. He's asking Edward because Edward was specifically talking. But I could create. I can make some light. <clears throat> Don't do it now. But it is a cantrip that I know. Yes, uh, I can make a, one object uh, uh, bright like a torch. Arlen, Arlen, you also know how to do this. Yes. Yes, I'm able to do that. Yes. Maybe if we... they make us fight in like a place for dwarves the dwarves can see us we if can't we see have dwarves. a chance if you have a chance to rest then I can prepare it so that we can um, I can perhaps do two or three items that are glowing light what do you think Bilebeard <laughs> I think that's too long just Bile hey Bile what do you think He punches you or tries to. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Snowbeard. Uh, don't worry, BB. <laughs> Snowbeard's punches hurt now. He's he's been learning <laughs> all the time with the monks. <laughs> I've given him some natural weapons. <clears throat> uh, yeah, you wait for several hours. Eventually, um, a slot opens in the door. It's big enough for one of you to stick your head out of. But there's this bucket being offered. Uh, the bucket's steaming. Dinner. Why is someone shitting this already? <laughs> <laughs> They're kind of asking the question, do you want it or not? Uh, yeah. Okay. Yes. Uh, Ugg, Ugg goes over and grabs kind of like a bunch of stew that is um, 
Uh, Are we fighting today? Prepared. No. I think you're fighting in the morrow. Thanks. Karn. Don't, don't say thank you. They just make you look weak. You know, beyond having no legs. And being pathetic. Snowbeard, you, perhaps if you start paying attention, you realize that some people are nicer to you. If you're not a prick. Yeah, so, I generally don't like those people, though. So he takes okay. he takes the... Oh, so we so him, big bring bring the food over. Yeah, Ub, Ub takes, goes over and, and, and brings the food over. It, it's got a sour smell to it. Um, purify food and drink. It looks like it was like a fish broth with just random stuff thrown in. Yep. Bachelor food. <laughs> um, Pur purify food and water. Big chunks of like bones with little bits of meat still hung to them. Not not like big hunks of meat sort of thing. So, uh, yeah, you purify food and uh, food and drink, and um, the it it is not um, your caravan stew. What was the dude's name? <clears throat> Bortho. Bortho. It, it was not. It was not Bortho's stew. It is it is definitely um, got a. a Funky taste with the random stuff that's just been added Better to it. Better than rancid fish guts. Yep, um, one one smidgen above the rancid fish guts. And you don't find random chunks of gravel in it. Stupid. Stupid. That dirt's what makes it taste good. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey. You hit your ear over there. What? What are you in here for? Killing. What are you in here for? Ah, uh, killing too, I think. You, you just hear across across the way. Are you some sort of condemned? Are we in I, a map I can, or not? I can see in the darkness. Can I see? Yeah, you, you can. You can kind of like pry at the, the little the little plate that opened where yeah. the food came out, and you're sort of looking. Uh, you can see in the dark. Yeah, you see that there's uh, somebody yelling uh, just across the uh, the hall from you. Uh, Human or dwarf? Or... Uh, from the glinty eyes and the slightly darker, uh, the darker skin. Um, um, of course, dark vision's all in black and white. You're pretty. You're yeah. pretty sure you're looking at a, a Durgar, a, a dark dwarf. Sure, sounds like there's a lot of you over there. Yep. You sound lonely. <laughs> Well, yeah. There's only one of me in here. There was two. <laughs> oh, yeah. Got hungry, did you? I've been there. <laughs> ah, it's swill. It's better than nothing, though. So, what was that squeaking I heard? One of you got some sort of contraption? Oh, yeah. Hmm. We got a we got a guy with no legs here. They wheel them around on a cart like, uh, you know, like they do for the dead folk. You know, it's more of a chair. Hmm. It's a battle chariot. <laughs> oh, yeah? He, he, he's, he's intentionally speaking in Dwarven, so... Ah. He, he doesn't... Only people, very few people can understand. Very few people can understand, yeah. Did I overhear one of you guys say it? No, he was speaking in Imperial Common to you, but he, he'll switch to Dwarven. Did I overhear... Well, no, he's actually speaking in Imperial Common. Did I overhear one of you guys saying that you can cast magic? Yeah. What do you think we keep uh, the legless guy? For his charming personality? No. <laughs> Wizard? No, he uh, worships some... Uh... The hell, God, you worship again? <laughs> some, nah, I don't know. Some like your soul. <laughs> ah, good to know. Good to know. What about the rest of you? Oh, well, we we got a a a, a halfling here. That uh... halflings, all halflings are slaves, aren't they? Ain't got no place well, yeah. in the gladiatorial ring. Well, that's what I think. Are you getting that uh, toil ring? Maybe. I don't know. Well, let's be able to see if a halfling could be a gladiator when we get in there. Beat your ass. <laughs> I thought you were some sort of thief. Uh, Maybe not. But I don't steal things. I beat ass. If, if, if you get in the ring with him, please kill him. 
I can't do it. We got the same master, but it, you can. You can kill him. This is I in Dwarven? <laughs> no, he's saying this in, in, in my Imperial Common. <laughs> Charisma 4. <laughs> Your accent's funny. Where are you from? Uh, North. Ish. North, huh? How far north? Uh, not that far as you might think, actually. <laughs> yeah. What about the rest of you? Anything else? Well, we, we've got a horribly uh, twisted-looking freak. Uh, and uh, You got I'll a name or something now. over there? Azrigal. Where are you from, Azrigal? Hey, oh. do you think Radermer let me be called Azrigal? That's way better than Snowbeard. <laughs> Maybe, BB. Maybe. Hey, you know what? Your lips are starting to remind me of Zamicles, and he tries to punch you in the mouth. Ogus <laughs> 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 now got all three of his arms trying to separate the two of you <laughs> for, 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 for fighting. <laughs> <laughs> now there's only one Azrigal. So do you cast spells, Azrigal? Maybe. Some yeah, sort of wizard? Yes. Nah. If I was a wizard, I would just uh, tell him I'm a port out of here. Don't hear you tell him a port note. Maybe it's because tell him a port is not a word. Aren't you smart? Then? <laughs> <It's not. laughs> smart tongue, huh? Oh, the nobles, those that are on the level above, are gonna, gonna really enjoy watching you die. What about that little Darrow? You what know, little Darrow. Darrow, not too yeah, common around. Oh yeah, <laughs> you don't wanna, you don't wanna face him. He's the undisputed champion of some of the some of the dungeons. Oh, Sam wants to face him. Don't no. you, Sam? Nah, he's he's a professional killer. Darrow are crazy, and he thrives on it. Huh? Should have wiped them all out, if you ask me. But uh, I could see why. Uh, I could see why he's kept around. Oh yeah, he he could have been free by now by the number of people he's killed. But he likes he's it. He's not too much of a conversationalist. <laughs> he doesn't really use his words. Yeah, well he's got other talent. He's a he's a painter when it comes to killing. Paints in blood. Oh, that's such a great catchphrase. <laughs> Snow is just going like, that guy's awesome. <laughs> Freaking hero worship. <laughs> yeah, so, Snowbeard is like a consummate lackey. He's like, he's looking for the somebody to be the lackey of. Yes, right? he is. Yes, he's not his own person right now, at least. <laughs> he, is, he is not. He's Chris before sad, is just sad. like... He, <laughs> He's he just wants to be the the bootlicker. <laughs> He's a sad, sad little creature. Is what he is. You know what dungeon you're being put in? Did they mention uh, anything? Oubliette. Ah, place of forgetting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that seems like a crappy place to have a gladiatorial match. At least not one that's going to be remembered. <laughs> well, it's not a place of forgetting anymore. A lot of things have changed. The Empire coming in had to make some, uh, knock down a few walls, put in a few pokey holes, make it so others could watch. Do they watch through magic or are they there? Oh no, they're right above you. At least not in the Oubliette, I think. They're... Some of them may watch, but I'm not a wizard. I thought we already got past that. No, no. Oubliette. Yeah, it's got some rooms. Some rooms where audience participation happens. 
Audience participation. Uh, so, uh, what kind of monsters? They said they have monsters in there. What kind of monsters? Lots of them. <laughs> Depends. They're probably working on all the details right now. You know, who's going to sponsor what and who's putting together which monster. Oh, there's also treasure to be found if you're lucky. If you made friends with a lot of people upstairs. Did you work out anything yet? You mentioned Murderous Dob. You must, be, you must have talked to uh, his master. The only one Zed that can really control him. Zedifax, I think they said. Oh, yeah, ZFX Khan. He's got his thumbs in all the pies, and he's got more than two thumbs. <laughs> he really likes to lower himself and meet people at the gate, especially when he sniffs the gladiators are coming around. Spotted you probably from miles away. Uh, if he hasn't visited you yet, you could probably deal with him. He makes all sorts of trades. He makes sure that the right magic items could be found in the dungeons. He's got many connections, yes, yes. He's always interested in what gladiators have to offer. <laughs> So do they just throw you in the arena solo-like, or like a, a condemned kind of thing? Yeah, I think I'm pretty fucked. Unless I kill, you know, Samoria. <laughs> How many have you killed so far? How many have you killed? Um, I lost count after 20. Twenty. <laughs> oh, you'll be sure. I'll be sure to make sure that you're the first to go. <laughs> Two, really. <laughs> uh, <coughs> defeated untold numbers. Killed not very many. <laughs> well, you're in for a fucking show, aren't you? Not too many people make it out of the Oubliette. Of course, depends on who's being sponsored and which, which horrible things they've dragged out from the deep. What do they usually bring? There ain't no usual. Well, there's some usual. What have you seen before? Well, we're in Vivernus, for one. <laughs> Wyverns, I assume. We've already killed a bunch of wyverns. You've killed wyverns here in Vivernus? No, not in Vivernus, on the trail where they're all wild. Ah, yeah. You probably shouldn't uh, spread that word too often. Kill a wyvern will certainly get you to where you are now. They're the pets, you know. Pets of the Imperium now. Imperial wizards. Oh, they sure liked this place when it was capitulated. The control over wyverns was definitely something that they negotiated heavily for. Not that the wyverns couldn't do anything against guns, but... Oh, those humans. They knew. They knew who their true masters are. Wonder if the Dukes are gonna be at this one. They've been lingering around in Vivernus. You know, the up the upper duke and the under duke and the upper duchess, the under duchess. Who's in the middle? <laughs> All the rest of us. Oh. Um. It's like a pyramid on top of an inverted pyramid, and we're all in the middle, we're all fucked.
could be worse. Yeah, well, we'll see what you're saying in the morrow. Probably the same thing. Yep. <laughs> well, you'll probably face kobolds tomorrow. Everyone gets a lock when you shove about 20 kobolds into one of these dungeons and watch them all die. <laughs> Maybe a ha ha ha, you're all gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, he was about to say something else when the, you can hear like the door at the end of the hallway opening, kind of um, with a grind and a, a whine. Some soldiers marching in. Where are my. Where are the gladiators at? To the right hand side. Oh, well, yes. <clears throat> Wait here, Dob. <laughs> No, not yet, Dob. Not yet. Have you reconsidered, Azragol? Nah, I think I'll pass. Maybe one of them will give up some. I hear one's already a cripple. Huh. Knock, knock. Who's there? A benefactor. You know, the reddish glow from the gems. Yeah, ben benefactors <laughs> are always welcome. <laughs> he, he opens up the door. There are two guards beside him. Leave us. Oh, do send Dob in. Just have him... Uh, yes, just leave him where he is. The door open is fine. <laughs> He's vigorously doing something out of sight, off camera. Um, Clarice. <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering, I spoke to your master, while he is busy trying to, well, pull off diplomatic feats in such a short period of time to make sure that you get the right sort of boons while you're in the dungeon, the oubliette, I decided I might come down here and peddle some of my wares, you know, on behalf of those that I represent and do business with. To make sure that there are good boons found in the dungeon. Boons that are specifically tailored to what your strengths are. Types of weapons you typically fight with. Spells, scrolls, potions. These all can be arranged. Even magic items that if you find, you get to keep. Otherwise, you could find just a bunch of kobold trash. Tiny things that are of no use to you. Sam is like, I could probably use most of that kobold stuff. <laughs> <laughs> a dungeon uh, for me! <laughs> does this sound interesting? Bartering with us, we don't have anything. Oh, on au contraire. He smiles. He smiles at Edward. Edward's like that. <laughs> he knows the language of the ba the Grand Bastion. <laughs> Au contraire, he says, "You have plenty of things. You have vitality. You have life essence. You have blood coursing through your veins." Whoa, whoa! Let me stop you there. You have such fresh body parts. Some of which oh, okay. you do not need. All right, let me stop you. Stop, 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 stop. Listen, this dwarf, I, you're, you can like what you like, but this dwarf is all about the ladies, all right? So you can just take your offer, and uh, Sam would probably appreciate it, actually. He's... Of course, my favorite is that you could sell some of your favorite memories. To what? Memories. experiences you've had in your past i have the means and he looks down the hallway aliens in to extract such things uh, when you say extract do you mean extract extract or do you mean like make a copy extract he 
He smiles. What good 